Hi, I'm Trump Adder. I'm Desmond. Hi, I'm Wan. Drum, play me. Hi, I'm Chong Kang. I'm Patrick. I play the bass, he play the drums, he die, I focus, and guitar. <laughs> we, when we started, I wanted a band name and I love the Beatles a lot. So, first thing that came to my mind was paperback writers. That sounds too, uh, too blatant, I guess. So, so Pat, we talked about this and I think we brainstormed, I brainstormed with Pat and we said, why don't we call it just typewriter? Very nice. <laughs> Not shy. Not shy. <laughs> I think everyone have almost the same but different. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I think we we grew up uh, basically with a lot of uh, a healthy diet of pop music. You know, like. Beatles has always been more influenced than your, your, your alternative phase, like the grunge phase with Nirvana and, and, and stuff like that. Then jump to Madonna, that kind of thing. From Madonna, go to But me. our main influence is, uh, I don't know if you know about this Singaporean band, it's called Copycat Clap. The song called Why You So Like That. Yes. <laughs> no, we we, we, we yeah, always want yeah, to cover yeah. the song. Yeah, yeah. Basically, influences is like everyone got different influence and when Chang Kang brought the whole song structure, it's like, it's quite loose and we don't, we don't really discuss what or how should we play we just like, let it go first, then we fine tune from there So you could kind of like hear a little bit of our influences like, like what I said just now, you know sometimes I throw in a Lady Gaga bass kind of thing <laughs> So, I mean of course, there is a basis, a basic structure of, of why I wrote me and the other guys to play in this band there must be a certain direction that we like. You know, I won't get a death metal guy to play this band. Some of the songs are as old as eight, nine years. Yeah. Um, a lot of the songs were written over the, the, the ten years that we've been together. And um, um, we've been recording for, for the past seven years. And then when one came in, uh, we kind of completed the album with a uh, few uh, last few songs like "Sunlight Takes Over" and then "People's Way." So when you listen to the album, it's like you listen like you know uh, an oral rojak that kind of thing. You know, <laughs> wait, <laughs> come put a nice description to it. Kind of lost rojak, yeah, you know. <laughs> you kind of euphoric rojak. Yeah. So you uh, there's a bit of mix of. Uh, different kind of styles and uh, sound and recording sound actually it was a different phase of time we used different machines previously used cassette tape you know, and then after that used computer and, you know, kind of thing, you know. so it sounded quite different but it's, it's still nice and um, I'm always on the lookout for quirky titles uh, so I was at Mustafa and I saw this um, DVD, instructional DVD so it says Indian Hip Massage, this is about 5 years back. So it's, it has been stuck in my head for all this while. And I thought uh, it would be a great title for an album. Yeah. It kind of represents the quirkiness in the music. Not quirky, quirky in some sense, but there's a lot of like, serious undertone in it. So sometimes you like, listen in the middle of the night and cry, I kind of think for no reason. Not really. Like. <laughs> so, and, and one more thing, uh, you, type, you go to YouTube, you type Indian Hip Massage, wow. See a lot of nice things inside. Yeah, you, you should just yeah. search in the game. Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 that much later because I we had to come up with. Uh, we were trying to meet the deadline to do the album, so I was. Uh, I kept. I, I didn't have. Uh, I kept it open, so I just went down to Third India and I saw this uncle drinking Guinness. So went up to him and said, "Would you like a photo?" So turns out he's uh, actually a Sri Lankan, um, Sri Lankan uh, businessman who's uh, passing through Singapore. So he was very happy that uh, I called him after that in Sri Lanka and said, "Can I use your photo?" And he gladly said yes. Did you guys send a copy of the album to him? Yeah, yes. yeah, we did. And he sent us a, a, a nice we we'll, we'll come to Sri Lanka kind of. Yeah, it's very very nice of him. 
a band favorite would definitely be that deepest blue. Yeah. Uh, second, Sunlight takes over. Mm. Depends. Depends. Uh, yeah. 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 What's that? that Depends what, what you feel. Yeah. The deepest blue came about when one came to the band really, and it's like a very natural progression of a jamming session, and just jam about a song, come with the bass line, come out with the guitar, the the drums, then Chunkan start singing his blues out, you know. <laughs> That it was good, you know. <laughs> Jenny, I did dedicate the song to one. It was written for him. <laughs> oh, <laughs> romance. <laughs> I know, like, like I said, for me, it depends on what mood I'm in. If, like, like when I'm down, cry so well, and every night, yeah. I see, I see. Oh, oh, I don't know, I don't believe it. Wow, there's so much to say about you, man. What's up, man? That's all about Pat. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to say something about Pat. Like, we always revere him as the, the godfather of Singapore indie music since he's like, you know, I listen to his cassette tape, The Odd Fellows, the band. Yeah, since he's like. Only when you find. Yeah, that. Wow, you know, back then, then it was like now, and and he's like always like always like look at him in this like a, a very hero kind of uh, uh, status. Then start to play with him really, and you know that he's such a humble person, nice down to earth, and you know such a great player and such a good guitarist kind of thing. So very unassuming kind of person. So but he's also very uh, what do you call that humorous, got this kind of like dark humor. Sometimes you say something. Like, I spoke you in some <laughs> little jack over there that made you giggle that kind of thing. Not physically but okay. Next one is uh, the glue. Glue of the band. Okay? He doesn't really He's not as uh he, you know I would be the one coming up the songs. Patrick would be the one who is more quality control. You know, make sure everything is okay. Uh, Desmond, as I say, he's a glue because um, still without him. without him, typewriter won't be the same. You know, he is just there. His spirit is important. You know, so in and now he comes. The vibe, I don't know. It's it's not something that I can just put my finger to it. But when he's around, you you feel comforted that typewriter is there. Um, one I know for many years, even before he joined typewriter. He always come across as someone um, very energetic, full of life, very lively. Just the youngest in the band. Yeah. When he go home, very tired. <laughs> 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 very positive, uh, thinking, you know, like he can do anything, you know. Um, so when he joined the band, um, he really added a, a spark to the band, I felt. There's his energy. Uh, he's also the youngest member of the band, and, and he really, I think, um, when he came in, um, the band kind of took off in um, yeah a different tangent. You know? I, I feel that we are more cohesive now than ever. Thank you. Uh. <laughs> and he's twenty one. Twenty one, two, twenty three, twenty five. Chakang I mean, he talked. We met. Like, I mean, I've been fan of theirs. I always uh, go to gigs. Like watch pet, watch pet. Basically, it's like a legend, lah. Then Chang Kang saw me in the, one of the show and came up to me and talking about drama. And then I'm like, I thought your band already had a drama, and and he keep on like talking, like, oh, we need this kind of drama. And finally, like after two hours of talking about drama, he suddenly like, okay, why don't you join the band? And I'm like, oh, okay, <laughs> okay. That's what I was trying to say is Chunkan is always the <coughs> okay. That's 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 the that's the that's the top side of the story, but the internal side, I mean this is the part I have to confess uh, and be transparent to everyone. Uh, like no matter how many bands that I'm in, no matter like <laughs> how much I am as a band whore, my and how busy that I mean I work as a chef, so basically my weekend is all gone. And Sunday, is, Sunday, Monday is my only time. And Monday is 
my only time that I always reserve for typewriter uh, if you guys don't realize that. Uh. Oh. Yeah. So if any of other of my band, I mean for me, I play in different band, but no band is a side project or what, and and I feel it's quite an honor to be around these guys. Is it? It's totally different from what I in been in. Actually, Chang Chang said that just not that I'm the glue and stuff like that. Actually, he also very much like a glue in the band, mm. as it, uh, like always like uh, giving us the direction of. Uh, how character should feel and sound like he got this vision over there and we help him with this vision yeah. with our own vision basically he's a slave driver but he yeah. just trying to be the nice said no no yeah, this yeah. is a band yeah, see yeah. it's a burn yeah. leash over there actually it's, you know yeah. it pretty much can pass off as a like I always say to you it pretty much mm. can pass off as a singer songwriter like basically Chang Kang and like ah, yeah. the musician backup but he yeah. always like one it oh no this is a collective even though he, he, that this even is though he write the lyrics on his own and everything, he, he controls us and his team. But, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but he still wants it as a band. Uh, so. He's a gang leader. Uh, you know. The next one will be the one that we're playing for you guys. Uh, nothing in between yet. We hope to go Beijing. Hopefully soon. Um, but because everybody has day jobs, so we're going to put our Teach together and uh, see where we can go. Buy the CD. <laughs> like, uh, listen to our music. I think that's most important. Not, not buy the CD, sorry. <laughs> go get the CD so you can listen to buy, our music. Buy us music instrument. <laughs> <laughs> get our music so that you will, you will listen to us. And I think that's the most important. And please, please do check out more of Singaporean band. Uh. I mean, we need that. Uh. There's only so much interview, there's only so much uh, featured in newspaper and magazine. But there's only one crystal. You know. And if you don't listen to the music, there's no point. Music are meant to be heard. Yeah, right. Come now for the gig. <laughs> for more updates, follow at love in 2011 at Twitter. <laughs>